Welcome, welcome guys, welcome to Top Wisdom. Today guys, I'm going to teach you Isi Zulu lessons. So today's episode, I'm going to focus on teaching you Isi Zulu, the basics Isi Zulu. If you don't know anything about Isi Zulu, I'm going to teach you there. Basically, it's for great ones. So I'm going to teach you Isi Zulu on how you can read Isi Zulu and how you can communicate with people who are speaking Isi Zulu. So I'm going to start with the basics, one of the words that are very important to know is Zulu, which are the pure, 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 pure basics. So is Zulu, I could say it's a language that is challenging, especially for beginners, because the language is Zulu is very challenging to people who even know is Zulu. Learners at school who study is Zulu usually fail is Zulu, even though at home they speak is Zulu. So I could say it's difficult to write is Zulu, but it's easier to speak is Zulu. So, as you tuning in in this episode, obviously you're trying to learn Isizulu and you are really a beginner of a beginner when it comes to speaking Isizulu. So, I'm going to start now. So, we could say, when you say Saubona, Saubona, that is greetings, that is Isizulu. Most of people greet you that way. They say Saubona, Saubona, and most of the time, they gonna when you they say Saubona, you're gonna respond Unjani. Unjani means how are you? Unjani means which means when you say how are you, you're saying Unjani. They will respond good in the corner. That's their response obviously. Remember, Saubona means hello or greetings. And how are you is unjani. Then they will respond with in the corner, or you will respond with in the corner. Whenever someone asks you unjani, you just respond with ukon, in the corner. So let's say you come on to the city, you are at South Africa and you don't know anybody. You are at South Africa, you're trying to ask for a random place. Maybe let's say you just arrived at the place. And you wanna ask a certain question, like where is this place? Where is this place? So here's a tricky part. When you ask where, you are like, for example, you wanna ask where is Johannesburg? Oh yeah, I'm gonna make an example about Johannesburg. Maybe you wanna ask where is Johannesburg? You are you are going to say Igupi e Johannesburg. You wanna ask where is Cape Town? You're gonna say Igupi e Cape Town. You're gonna ask where is Eastern Cape? Igupi e Eastern Cape. You see this phrase? I'm I'm gonna say this word. E E E You're gonna use that thing. Igupi e Johannesburg, Igupi e Cape Town, Igupi e Eastern Cape, Igupi e New York, for example. Where is New York? Igupi e New York. So you use that word E E E. So, there's the tricky part. But when you wanna say, or when you wanna ask, for example, you wanna ask um, about a certain person. For example, let me say, where is John? You don't say, Igupi e John. You don't say that. Because it's a person, you're gonna use this one, U. You're gonna say, Ukupi u John. Let me make an example. Where is Jimmy? Now we're gonna talk about Jimmy. Where is Jimmy? You're going to say Ukupi U Jimmy. Ukupi U Jimmy. You are using U. These things that we used to call in English. In English, in Isizul, by the way, in Isizul. In they teach young learners, especially young learners who are about six years old. Who are, who are very, very young. He teaches the learners A, A, E, O, U. As you can see here. We call this A, A, E, O, U. While in English you usually say A, E, I, O, U. But it, it, it depends on the word, by the way. But in Sizul, it does not change. The words don't change. They stay the same. This is A, A, E, O, U. They don't change. 
they stay the same. While in English, usually we say A E A E I O U. But when you pronounce the word look, the word O is not, is, it doesn't sound, it is not there anymore. It just changes. But in Sizzle, they stay the same. You stay A A E O U. You must know those words A A E O U. They teach in South Africa, they teach learners A A E O U. Beginner learners, very, very, very beginner learners who don't know anything. Young, young children who are six years old, they teach them that so that they must grasp this information that this is A, this is A, this is E, this is O, this is U. And this one, let me just see, make another example. Okay, this phrase is, let me make another example. As I've said, I've told you that A-E-E-O-U does not change. In Sizulu, the words don't change. They stay the same. Remember that. If you, always remember that. Let me make an example and put S. As you can see here. We pronounce this this way. This is how we pronounce. Sa, se, si, so, su. They haven't changed. Ma, me, mi, mo, mu. They haven't changed. Ha, he, hi, ho, hu. La, le, li, lo, lu. You see? They don't change. They stay the same. So let's connect another way. To, let me make an example with the word mada. Mada. In Sizulu, mada, we call it ma, ma. That's mada. And when we say father, we say ba ba that's how we say father the words don't they, they stay the same a a e o u you you must always remember that this will be helpful for you if you remember this it will be easy for you to master isizulu a a e o u a a e o u they stay that say they stay the same as i've said so let's go into a little bit advanced one we're gonna come back to the basics to the pure basics anyway so in sizul the part that tricks many many people especially when you learn isizul when you the first time learning sizul is that isizulu most of the words they are one word like like for example in english when you say come to me those are three words come to me come to me but in sizul you just say wasalana and that's one word you just say wasalan. It's one word. So that's the tricky part. So in Sizulu, happy is ukuchabula. Ukuchabula. That's happy. Let's say, for example, you wanna say, for example, uh, John is happy. John is happy. You just say in Sizulu, u John, uchabulili. I've said this uh, once again, that each and every time you say the name of the person, most of the time when you tell somebody about about someone, you are always using the phrase U before you say his name. Let's say you want to say uh, Jimmy. Jimmy is crossing the road. No matter, let, 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 let me make an example that's very easy for you, to, you, for you guys so that you can understand. Jimmy is writing down. You're going to say, U Jimmy, U Bala Pants. You, you, you know that, guys. I've said it many times. You are using U each and every time you say the name of the person. Especially when you talk, about some, when you talk to someone and you're going to talk about someone. You get my point. Let's say I want to tell... For example, let me tell Lainey. We are using the name Lainey. I want to tell Lainey about John. I'm going to say, let's say, John is playing football. You're going to say, U John, U Lala Ibola. U John, U Lala Ibola. By the way, playing is U Lala. That's playing, Lala. That's playing. So... Those are the basics. The, the most important thing to remember in Isizul, before I go deeper, because if I go deeper and you don't understand these words, obviously you're going to lose everything. You, you won't understand anything I'm saying. So the most important thing that you, you must know in Isizul 
is a a e o u that's what they teach to young to young learners who are six years old five years old at schools they teach them those words so that they as they advance it, it becomes more understanding after they are done with with learning a a e o u they are going to words like this sa se si so su ma me mi mo mu ha he hi ho hu la le li lo lu they learn that in grade one when they are six years old by the way sometimes seven years old they learn those words because it's very it's very important to understand these words you're gonna use these words as you as you move on learning isizulu let me make another example um with c you're gonna say ka ke ki o u that's how you use in english where we say this is c in isizulu we call it ka ke ki o u like let's say someone ask you a question and you you are refusing you are you're going to say ka ka this is how you pronounce it most of the people who learn this or learners who learn this are in grade two they learn ka ke ki ko ku they now combine this with so remember guys grasp on to this and remember it it's very very important what's your name ubani kamalako what's your name so i could say let me teach you this one another another trick so let me let me make things easier for you guys i'm gonna make things easier as fast as as, as possible so that you guys can understand let's say you want to ask someone what's your name and i've said this before what's your name you're gonna you're gonna say ubani ikamalako it it is when you ask someone what's your name what's your name ubani ikamalako and maybe let's say you are talking to someone and you want to ask someone's name what's his name what's his name remember i'm talking to someone i'm asking about somebody else what's his name you're going to say ubani ikamalake ubani ikamalake can you hear me guys the name when you say name name is ikama that's isizulu guys ikama let me make another example what's his dog's name what's his dog's name ubani ikama lenja yake ubani ikama lenja yake so by now you guys see that the word what in english the word what in isizulu we say ubani especially when you ask about someone or when you ask someone someone about a, a particular subject or about a particular person or his name whatever it is so what is dog's name we is going to say ubani kamalenja yake by the way dog is inja i'm gonna move on to that as we go far so guys make sure you subscribe so that I, so that i can release more lessons more lessons i'm gonna continue to re- release more advanced lessons so that's very important so now guys i want you to listen carefully this is the reason why isizulu is failed by most learners this is the reason why isizulu is failed by most learners and even the learners who study isizulu and who basically grow up speaking isizulu fail at school they grow up speaking isizulu and they fail at school so okay listen guys listen very carefully this is the trick part this is the tricky part now you're going to ask who took my book or let me say who took my car let me use the first example who took my car how are you going to say that a car is immortal by the way car immortal immortal that's the car and took it basically is a, is a past tense of take and is ta- tata is tata 
in the easy zone. So guys, I want you to try and combine these words. And my or mine is a army. So try and try and combine those words and make a sentence. Try. I'm giving you time. You may pause this video. But anyway, when you're saying who took my car, in Isis we're going to say Ubani Otati Imotoyam. Ubani Otati Imotoyam. By the way, because it's in the past tense, Ubani Otati Imotoyam, not Ubani Otata Imotoyam, because it's not happening right now. It's in the past tense. I will explain in future lesson the past tense of Isizulu and the future tense. Ubani otate imotoyami. That's Isizulu. It tricks a lot of people. Let's say you want to say, who took my book? Ubani otate imotoyami. And by the way, e -e a book is imotoyami. By the way, Ubani otate imotoyami. Yeah, right now you're asking yourself, how? How is this possible? You said what is Uban? No. When you ask about a particular subject, you're using the word Uban. About a particular a person, by the way. Let me be specific. When you ask about a particular person who took your stuff, or about a particular person's name, you're using the, the phrase Uban. You're going to say Uban. So, guys, that's it for the lesson. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to release new videos soon. Subscribe to the subscribe to the channel and like the video and share the video. Subscribe. 